Hey guys, Ryan Mattis here from Winning International and I'm really excited to break down an interview with one of our amazing clients that went through our six figure and seven figure coach program, Laura. Uh, such an amazing woman and she pretty much started off having a massive heart. You know, funny story, she was actually a VA when she, she started out and went, stuff this, I wanna be the influencer, I wanna be the coach. And she went on an amazing journey and we caught her at a place where she was generating a few leads but not really much cash flow. She didn't have a program and helped her generate more leads, uh, make sales, she wasn't converting at all, helped her go to an 80% conversion rate and pretty much helped her get to a place where she was having $10,000 weeks consistently doing amazingly well and are really excited to share her progress. So there were ups and downs like there is in every situation, but in this interview, you're gonna see the raw unfiltered truth of how she went through and got those results and how you can do the same. So we're kinda of gonna be educating you uh, and trying to give as many takeaways and extrapolate what worked, what didn't work, so you guys can learn and see how you can get yourself to $10,000 a week as well. So I'm really excited, guys. Here's what I want you to do. If you kinda of wanna to get to a stage where you're at least doing $10,000, and you're struggling to get that happening and to make it happen. What I've decided to do guys is open up a few free sessions, a few free spots. So if you go below this video and put your details in, we'll check out, you know, give you a quick call, see whether you're right. And if you are, we'll do a free custom clarity session with you to help you form a blueprint for your own business so you know exactly what your price point should be. You know exactly how you're gonna generate leads, make sales, pretty much have everything set up to get great results. Obviously, you'd have to go out there and do it. But if you wanna get that happening, go below, fill in the details, and we'll give you a quick call and organize that. That would be really cool. But after you've done that, so go below and do that now. After you've done that, make sure you come back up and watch through this interview, because it's really interesting, and you can learn a lot from that, from someone that's doing it right now and making it happen, but has also been through the struggles that happen when you're starting your coaching business. So guys, really excited. Let's get straight to the interview. <laughs> So hey everybody, awesome to have you here. We've got the amazing Laura Huxley here, which is probably one of our favorite clients because she's such a kick-ass <laughs> hustler. And in this session today, we're gonna be pretty much breaking down how Laura went from no clients, and sorry, that's not true. You actually had clients, did you? <laughs> yeah, I had clients, I had no course. No course, yeah. <laughs> so no online course, and how you went from that place to being able to consistently hit 10K per week in your coaching business, which is remarkable. And so Laura is absolutely phenomenal at what she does. She just got back from New York speaking in front of 100,000 people live streamed around the world, which is crazy. So she's an international speaker and someone that is phenomenal at what she does. So really, really excited to get straight into the, the questions. So the goal for everybody today is to be able to, I'm gonna ask you a bunch of questions, Laura, and just get your feedback on your journey so far. So the guys at home watching this can get the most out of your journey and try to learn from, you know, what distinctions you made, et cetera, et cetera, to be able to go from no course to 10K per week, which is awesome. Super proud and you smashed it. So let's get straight into the questions. So what I'd love to ask you first is just a, if you could give the guys listening just a really quick overview of what you do right now, that'd be amazing. Yeah, sure. So I train entrepreneurs to speak on stage and on camera. So I basically coach them around getting clear around what their brand message is. Mm -hmm. And then I help them to deliver that in a really confident, certain way so that they can grow their business and they can basically grow using speaking and build their profile that way. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And you've helped me with some great tips and advice you know, over the last few months have. as well. So much I appreciating have. that. That's awesome. Cool. So <laughs> let's get really clear on just where where were you exactly before we started working together? If you could just give everybody a, a quick little overview of where you were when we first started working together. Yeah, sure. So I was doing one-on-one -on -one coaching before I worked with you guys and I was kept doing speaker training and I had all of these ideas in my head and I knew that I wanted to create an online program but I just didn't know how to do it you know it was it was kind of you know all of these ideas but no way of getting it into a structure or a system and mm -hmm. um, so you know I was I was working one-on-one -on -one, I was busy but the you know it's capped so it was kind of you know non-stop um, but actually not making as much money as I wanted to and then obviously I came on board with you guys and the first thing that you really helped me to do was really get everything out of my head into something that made sense 
so that I could actually see it and go, right, okay, now I have a little bit of an idea of what I need to do now. Um, and I built it from there. So that was the, the, the most pivotal part of the journey right at the beginning was just getting it out of my head and, and seeing where it could go. Totally. So the, the really awesome thing about you, Laura, is that you have s such a great uh, personality that really perseveres through things. And there's been a few <laughs> little hiccups that we've had to, to overcome along the way. However, yeah. you've always pushed through and tackled that next thing. So when we started working together, you're totally right. We just worked on the structure and that was really mm -hmm. fun. Helping you take that awesome knowledge you've had from your years of performing experience and acting experience and just allowing that to be channeled in the right strategic direction, which was awesome. You then, once we had that in place and, you know, we started working, what do you think some of the obstacles that, that came up were along the journey from course, awesome, and then how do we actually monetize this and getting to the point where you're consistently making four to five sales, 10K per week? Um, it was it was many, many things, but I would say mainly having support there and having an actual system or a process to follow. And the key thing is taking action. So yes, you know, there were hiccups along the way and, you know, it, it's a bit of a roller coaster, but it was a great journey great learning experience for me but having you guys there as that support and guidance and accountability and knowing that I just needed to keep taking action and if I did the things that I knew worked and I learned from you then you know great things were going to happen so I just kept doing and kept doing and kept doing mm -hmm. and you know and it's gone from there and it, it's it just keeps growing it's still growing so you know it's a constant learning experience um which is great and you know it, if you'd have said to me maybe a year ago that i would have a two or two years ago that i would have a, an online program of my own I, I probably would have said no no way no chance <laughs> so it's yeah it's an accomplishment sure is one key uh, memory that i have was when because you kind of we started out uh created the program or at least created the blueprint for it Mm. and then spent a little bit of time where there were a few sales in there, okay, mm -hmm. but it was a little bit, you know, one sale one week, a few weeks later, another couple, and then one, and so it was a little bit, you know, on and off before you hit to the, got to the point where it was four to five sales consistently each week. Yeah. And I remember one of the key issues were that there were, lead gen was okay, and you were getting leads, but you just weren't converting. Mm. And so... I rem if I remember correctly, you, you were saying that it was on average seven leads per week you were generating, but not yeah. converting any. And then when you were got to the point where you're hitting four to five sales a week, I remember your conversion rate was way up. You know, what, what, what was that? It was, uh, as I remember, it was around 80% or something. Yeah, like it was. Sure. It was about eight. It was around 80%. Yeah. So yeah. I was converting the majority of the people that I was speaking to. Yeah. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> and that was down to something that we mentioned earlier and, um, certainty and mm. um, you know that was down to the belief that I knew that I could help the people that I was speaking to and that the program was something that was going to add value um, for them in their business and in their lives and just believing and having that absolute certainty that I could help them and going in with that intention and going in with the intention of adding value and not worrying about sounding or feeling salesy but actually going from a place of um coming from a place of you know serving and, and making a difference and helping in that way so good so you yeah. so to take your conversion from low 10 percent and under to 80 percent above the key was certainty changing the association to you know i'm going into this call to give as much as i possibly can mm. and just coming from that place of heart and then obviously the the sales structure would have helped a little bit, but it's it's more so the just the certainty because that's a huge difference. Going from converting at that level to four or five sales a week made the difference between no cash flow and 10K cash flow per week. And I know a lot of coaches get to a point where if they they create a premium program, it becomes very daunting to try to put that out there. Did you experience that at all when you first started? Yeah, of course. Yeah, definitely. There was, there was definitely resistance there around you know putting putting myself out there and, and being vulnerable but also um just get picking up the phone and doing what I said I was going to do and um, you know it was just 
the more I did it, and you know, I found that the more I spoke to people, that I really enjoyed it. That I actually loved having those conversations, and still love having those conversations with people because, you know, you get I, I've got to meet some amazing people and now help fantastic coaches in my program. And if I hadn't have picked up the phone um, on those days, that wouldn't have happened. So it's just again. Just even if there's resistance there or there's fear there for whatever reason, I just did it anyway and enjoyed it. <laughs> Rockstar. Awesome. So I feel like there's two key uh, elements that you could speak and really help the people watching with. One is the putting together of the course and backing themselves on that. And two is how you manage to start to boost your conversions. To the people out there that the coaches out there that are either doing just one-on-one -on -one or doing really low-end stuff, that want to step up to that next level and start to create a program that's results-based premium because you've got a two and a half K program, which is awesome. And the value in that, as we both know, is just a joke how, how much is in there. But still, it can be <laughs> daunting to sell something that is premium. So to the guys out there that want to step up, the coaches and have something that's really premium, uh, but they're nervous or fearful or trying to make and decide whether or not they want to do that, what three piece of, pieces of advice would you give to those guys in regards to, um, to starting that course that online course well the, I had I had two choices either build it and create the life that I wanted to be able to help people or don't and stay kind of kind of you know in this place of just surviving and getting through when I knew that you know um I, I knew that I was able to help people in such a bigger way. So it was just, it was, I'd say number one is having the belief, mm -hmm. um, having the belief that I could do it and actually just making that commitment to myself. And I have to say having you, you there and, and the guys there to hold me accountable mm. made so much difference because, you know, that you were there to check in and say, hey, have you done this? And I'd be like, oh... <laughs> I'm going to do it. <laughs> Not done it. I'm going to go and do it. Um, so I would say just the belief that I, because I, I sold my program before it was even finished. Mm. It was like the content of it was finished. Yeah. So I sold it, and to do that as well was was based on the fact that I knew that I had a lot to offer and that I knew I could help people, and I just had to keep believing in that. Um, and you know it was a success so I did that so I say belief and um, just keep taking action mm -hmm. how about in regards to the this because that's I believe that's the most important thing as well you need to have that certainty yeah. behind what you offer you need to back yourself and go you know what I sell is worth you know, more this, than a thousand dollars yeah totally yeah in terms of like the structure behind how we formatted do you have any tips to do with the, the structure behind the formatting of the online course um Okay, so the way mine is structured, I, um, you helped me with that, but that was really, so I deliver content over eight weeks, mm -hmm. and it's all delivered via video training, which obviously means that I can leverage so that I can reach more people, um, and they have, they have five videos a week, so they have videos, video lessons delivered from Monday to Friday each week, and then they get lessons um, so, sorry, action steps after each lesson to do. So they'll vary in time. It differs. Mm -hmm. And then I also set up a weekly group coaching call, which works really, really well because people are able to build relationships and share their journey together as well as, you know, I'm there to support them and hold them accountable. And then they also get one-on-one -on -one time with me in specific weeks in regards to creating content and then rehearsing. Mm -hmm. And then they also, at the end of the, I, I've actually added in a bonus, which is um, a two-day workshop because it's to do with speaking. Mm -hmm. um, I feel that having actually for them to have that experience of, you know, getting up and speaking in front of a, a group whilst I'm there to guide them and coach them is invaluable just to go through that experience and have it. So, that's yeah, awesome. that's how I structured it. That's so cool. With your help. <laughs> Thank you. So the cool thing about that is you not only hit the key core essentials with the content, with the online training, the coaching, with the weekly coaching calls, but also the when you need it coaching calls, so throughout specific mm -hmm. weeks. 
Because I feel a lot of coaches do one-on-one coaching, but sometimes the one-on-one coaching, there's no point actually having that session because it's mm-hmm. it's just for the sake of having it. It's not when they need the help. So the fact that you put them in at specific times when you know they need the help is so much better, yeah. better leverage, but also more productive for the clients as well. And then that community, like you spoke about, so having those three core elements, but then also mm-hmm. having the creative freedom to add and craft this however you like. And the fact that you've got that workshop at the end makes it so cool. You know, yeah, they, they get awesome. to learn all that stuff. You, they're there through, throughout the process, practicing what they're learning the whole way through, having your support yeah. the whole way through, and then getting to the end where they can practice it on stage, which is really cool. So I love that. Absolutely. So thanks for sharing that. In regards to sales, what key pieces of advice would you give uh, in regards to sales as well? Because you, that's something you certainly star at. Um, I would say again, adding adding value is the most is the, the that was the difference mm-hmm. between me coming from a mindset of oh I've got to go and I'm going to go and sell my program mm-hmm. to coming from a mindset and it was actually something that you said that stuck with me was to look at it as you know how many conversations are you having and it's just a conversation mm-hmm. you know re- releasing that attachment to the end result. And just going and having a conversation and seeing how much value you can give to them. And then if the program is suitable for them, then amazing. But if it's not suitable for them, then at least you get to work that one out. Yeah, totally. And you should obviously shouldn't put people into your program that aren't <laughs> yeah, exactly. suited anyway. Okay, awesome. Yeah, exactly. So any tips in terms of the, the structure of the, the call? Okay. Yeah, so I use the, the um, so I do the, the audition call, first of all, which is a 10, 15 minute quick call, um, which is really good because it just allows you to really work out whether you can actually help this particular person, whether the program's suitable for them, where they're at in their kind of, in their journey. Mm. Um, and then if I do think that I can help them and that they are suitable for the program, then I'll then offer them another session, mm-hmm. which is the trigger session, but I offer it as an, an action plan session. So I let them know that we're going to create a bit of an action plan around speaking for them. I'll help them with some challenges or whatever that, that is going on for them. And then I'll I explain to them that I'll tell them about the program. And if that's something that they're interested in, then great. And we go from that. Yeah, awesome. Love it. So you've totally nailed the key core essentials behind what makes a great salesperson, which is not going into sell. Selling's not about selling, as we know, it's just about changing lives. So if you can set your goal and your intention to just have conversations with people and go in trying to give, and you know, if they're right, awesome, put them through. If they're not, then that's completely cool. But also go mm-hmm. with that undying certainty and authority to be able to help the ones that need that help. And, and if they need a little bit of an extra inspiration, yeah. encouragement to just allow them to you know, have that extra certainty towards the end, then you, yeah. you're gonna nail it. Obviously the audition and the trigger session You've worked from the scripts that, that you learnt in the program, which can be really helpful as a base. But I feel like, especially you as an actor, <laughs> you know, learn that <laughs> and can embody that and become that character of that thought leader. Uh, yeah, with, and, with and you know, the, the objections do come up, of course they do, for every, for, not everybody, for, but they come up. So it's about being able to deal with those and see that it's not, you know, what it's really about. And usually it's just about fear of, of moving forward or making that commitment and mm-hmm. if I know that I can 100% help this person and I know that doing that program is going to make such a difference to them then I'll I'll manage those objections the best way I can to get to help them get out of their own way so mm-hmm. that they can do it um, but it's worth it like it's every time I've, I've you know handled objections and then they might come up with another one and then they might come up with another one um, but you know, I get them across across the line because I know it's the best thing for them. Um, it's it's a, it's great because you you know it's you know that you're making a difference to the other ones where you're like, oh, you know, I think I could have handled that objection a little bit better, but I, I didn't this time. Mm-hmm. Um, so it is a learning. It has been a huge learning curve. And mm. um, just keep doing it. Totally. Keep doing it. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Absolute killer advice there. So one thing that I feel like is really important to, to notice here is that the distinction between where you went from and where you've gotten to, there's not a huge difference. It's not like you went out there and were generating 
a hundred leads a week and you had to build this massive sales team and you know all this crazy big high scale stuff it's just mm-hmm. you being authentically yourself but being more certain more aligned and having something that you can sell which you know provides results and yeah. the process that we went through wasn't rocket science a lot of it's common sense a lot of it's just being the best version of you but there's mm-hmm. sim- simple tweaks am i frozen there yeah <laughs> You look great. Can you hear me still? Can you hear me still? I can hear you. All right, I'll continue that. It's just hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it was just simple little tweaks that made the big difference. So I feel like that's really, really important to note. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So Absolutely. awesome. If we can finish it off with just one big key piece of advice that you would have for any coaches listening on today that may potentially be in a spot where they're similar, just starting out but haven't got any traction, certainly aren't making 10K per week. What would be the one piece of advice you'd give to them to be able to move forward as best as possible? I would say just keep investing in yourself and believing in your expertise and believing that you're exactly where you need to be and that you can do it. I am proof of that. And you've just got to keep taking action and keep believing that you are doing the right thing and that you know that you can help people. I mean, I think, and I say this in speaking as well, and it's the same concept. It's kind of like if you can take the focus off yourself so much and keep putting it onto the people that need your help, then that just, it helps so much. And knowing that it's bigger than you, mm-hmm. as again, it just... It, it is bigger than you because if, if you're not doing it and if you don't step up and if you don't keep taking action, it means that you're not able to help the people that need it, um, which isn't helping anybody. So, yeah, believe, believe in yourself. You can do it. Keep going. That's awesome. Thank you so much for your advice. That's a, such a great piece of advice. <laughs> Are you up in the position I'm holding right here, right now? I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's awesome. But, but being able to... We're going to take a screenshot. <laughs> yeah. It's already a photo. <laughs> So being able to switch the focus away from you and your potential insecurities and your worries to the client and how much you want to help and influence them and and the impact you want to have on them. Such a great piece of advice. So thank you so much for for sharing. Thanks for being you and being such an amazing client. Uh, And I can't wait to see you back in Seven Figure Coach. So thanks, Laura. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. No worries. See ya. Awesome, guys. So how cool was that? Pretty funny little uh, free, freezed frame it there at the end, but we got there, got through the content, and Laura's doing amazingly well. I always love chatting with Laura. She's such a bubbly, awesome person, and she's getting some amazing results. So a lot to learn from that. So guys, if you're at a place right now, after you've watched through that interview, you're like, wow, that sounds awesome, but where do I start? Then what you need to do is you need to go below this video, and you need to fill in your details and claim your own very free clarity session with myself and I'm really excited to make that happen. So go boy, put in your details. We'll pretty much take a look at your business, do exactly what we did with Laura, help give you clear direction on exactly where your structure needs to be, your price points, your niche, making sure that it's set up profitably, and then give you the blueprint for how you're gonna generate leads, make sales, and get that cash flow. I can't promise that it's not gonna, there's not gonna be bumps in the road, but at least you'll be on the right track in the most optimized, quick way to get those solutions. So go below, fill in your details, and I can't wait to chat to you soon. Peace out, much love.